Awesome. Hi guys, this is chapter 23 for your AP Physics notes. Um, chapter 23 has all to do with mirrors and lenses. Now last year we didn't really focus on mirrors, we focused more on lenses. But all the same things that we learned about lenses will also apply for what we're going to do with mirrors. So we're going to focus on mirrors first and then we're going to get to convex and concave lenses. Um, first slide. You'll see that we have mirrors are typically coated with a compound of SN, which is tin, AL, which is aluminum, or AG, which is silver, because light isn't transmitted through these elements. So what will happen is light is going to hit those surfaces, and then they're going to reflect. They're going to bounce off. So in these cases, mirrors would be a certain type of reflection. Which type of reflection would happen on a smooth surface? Diffuse. JK. What is it? <laughs> Spectral. Jigging. Specular. Specular <laughs> reflection or regular reflection, same thing. So the geometry of a mirror can affect the size, the orientation, and the type of image that we see. Um, when we say the geometry, we mean here what, if we're going to have a plane mirror or if we're going to have a curved mirror, so whether that be convex or concave. So in these, there are special cases. So let's first talk about a plane mirror. <laughs> And what I mean by a plain mirror is just a mirror with a flat surface. So a plain mirror, a plain mirror is just a flat surface. It's a mirror with a flat surface. Okay, so that's all we need. Um, typically the images that are formed by plain mirrors are upright, they are identical in size to the object of whatever it is that's reflecting off of the mirror. And then they are as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it. So let's look at this picture. I have an object, specifically here we have a candle. We're looking at the light that's em um, emanating from the flame. So we have a light ray that's bouncing onto the mirror, strikes the mirror surface, it bounces off, so we know there's reflection. I have this dotted, dashed line here. What does that represent? Normal. The normal. And then I have these two angles here. This angle here that's touching the incident ray, and it's also touching the normal, we call that what angle? Angle of incidence. The angle of incidence. And the angle that's touching the normal and the reflected ray is called the? Angle of reflection. <laughs> the angle of reflection. Very good. OK. so. I have my light that's coming, bouncing off, and it's going into my eye. However, I don't see the image over here where my eye is. What, we're eye, what our, our eyes perceive is that the image is really originating from behind the mirror. So let's look at this picture now. So we kind of know how this one works. Let's look at this one. Um, same thing taking place. I have lots of light rays that are coming from um, my object. They're hitting the mirror. They're going into my eyes. I have these lines here, I have these dashed lines here, because those dashed lines are indicating to me that the image truly is not there. The image is truly not, not here, it's just it appears like it's this way. So last year we focused on two types of images. Those images were real, and the, image, the other image was a virtual. In this case, a plain mirror will always produce a virtual image. In all mirrors, there are a lot of mirrors that will typically produce virtual images. Not all of them, but, but most of them will. But in this case, we always know plain mirror will always produce a virtual image. And that's because I had to trace back where these reflected rays are going into my eye. I had to trace them back to where I'm seeing this image. So it looks like light is coming off of this image but it actually really isn't coming off of that candle at all. So that's the reason why it's a virtual image. If these light rays weren't dashed lines, if they were just the straight, nice, bold lines, that would indicate to me that light is really coming from that image. And if that were the case, it would be a real image. So let's, let's talk about some of these things, because we saw these last year, um, and they're also in your book, so we just need to make sure that we write them down so we can remember them. So DO, D is going to still um, symbolize a distance, but in this case it's specifically going to be called object distance. 
So DO is just our object distance. DI, if I have objects that are, I have objects that I'm looking through through the mirror, I'm going to have also an image. So this is going to be my image distance. So DI is image distance. Okay, we have our virtual versus our real images. Um, again, and let's, let's just write down a good definition for these. A real image A real image is where, where light actually diverges from the image. And then our virtual one where light appears to diverge from the image. Right, but actually doesn't. Okay, so we have two okay. types of images again. A real